Ladies. Hello. Good to talk with you both. <laughs> so we're talking about Barbershop. When, when did you guys, what was your reaction when you found out there was going to be another one? I want to know. Um, Me, honestly, I wasn't into it immediately. Okay. Um, it was one of those, really, I don't know. And then I talked to one of the producers. And then once I read the script and, and found out the new people that were coming on, it was a no-brainer. Okay. Because you were in the others. Yes. Right. So, but I mean, coming into this, how did it feel? Well, you know, it's a little daunting to come into a franchise because it's, if it's a franchise, it's already been done well. So you're like, well, what am I going to bring? Um, but it was fun, you know, just everyone in the original cast and like she said, all the new people who joined the cast. We had a great time. Like, we really did. Long hours, so it's a mm -hmm. good thing we liked each other. Well, we're entertained on this thing, but there is a deep social message. Mm -hmm. I'm in Houston. This is set in Chicago, but we have the realness of what's going on in the movie there as well. Absolutely. So how important is that to you both as a message for the film? Well, I mean, I think very important. I mean, we're both from urban communities, mm -hmm. so, yeah. you know, we, we, we know how important community and we know the effects of violence. Yeah, definitely. I, I think, and, and I think doing it in this kind of setting, in this movie at this time is, is really important. You know, it's really cool to talk to you because you were on my radio show. Ooh. Back in the day. Uh -oh. Yeah, that's right. So I was like, I'm really excited. To talk uh -huh. to you oh, cool. So here we are again. Yeah. Um, the other social issue, though, in this is the strong female that I really, really like. Y'all hold it together. Absolutely. So let's talk a little bit about how important that is to play those characters for you both. I mean, really, I, I mean, it's, what do they say? Well, you just came back from the Congo. Like, if you teach a female, yeah. it... Like it's like more important. Sorry. Yeah. yeah. No, it's it's it's. Uh, <laughs> no, I want to know that. I want to. Yeah. yeah. There's like if you educate a female, it like I don't I forget what the statistic is, but it like gives more. We are. I mean, it's horrible to say. It's like it's so cliche, but you know, like teaching females and educating females and being strong females is. We we are the future. Yeah, and you there's know, a statistic. We, it it, de it pregnancy de rates decline. Yeah. they take care of their family more. Yeah, a, a woman who reads is more likely to teach the family to read than a guy who reads. It's true. So you want to educate the woman because she'll. Yeah. Well, that's why I wanted to bring that up because a lot of people are going to see this film and see so many different things. So obviously the gun angle of it, but also the, the girls that take care of themselves. Absolutely, mm -hmm. which is important. All right, now we're going to talk about the fun thing again. <laughs> Working with this cast. Had to be just insane on a daily basis. Yeah, it was funny looking yeah. at like looking at especially the guys. They made us laugh. Yeah, so much. all the time. But it was needed. Obviously, we spent so much time on the set together, mm -hmm. so many hours. Mm -hmm. There were times where it just it went crazy, but in the best way. Mm -hmm. You know, in the best way. 